Hi, I'm reintroducing myself. My name is Brandon Pei. I'm a senior at Pacific Academy and I joined this community as a freshman um, back in the August of 2017. I was first introduced to the school through Elaine, um, whom I had met on an orchestra concert tour years before. I was the former ASB president of Jeffrey Trail Middle School, so that jump from a large public school to a smaller private school was a little bit harder for me, but I'm really thankful and grateful to have been surrounded by a warm and strong supportive community like Elaine, who's one of my closest friends, who really just helped make me feel at home here. One of the things that we take pride in at Pacific Academy is having a small school by design. The small community having a very small student body, what it allows us to do is really get to know each other as people, not necessarily as students. We begin to know each other's interests, our hobbies, what we really like and don't like, um, and it just really brings us together. And I really do like this sense of solidarity at PA, and I really think that's a quality that you can't really find at any other school. I am an aspiring cadet at the United States Military Academy. For someone like myself who has different college requirements, who has different elements to my application, PA really does create an environment that's conducive to everybody's needs. Every curriculum and every experience here at PA is tailored to what you want to do as a student and what you want to do as a person. The courses and classes here are very rigorous. A very fair amount of difficulty that the school presents each student really allows you to just find who you are, really allows you to just figure out, dive deep into yourself and figure out what I'm good at, what I'm not good at, and what I need to improve in. And of course, you have the teachers readily available to help you throughout that process. So for myself, I wasn't the most exceptional math student. Um, I, I struggled a lot in middle school because of some family health concerns, which really drew my energy away from my studies. And that really had a long-lasting impact and effect on my high school career. So for a period in my life, I was really considering, am I really going to be able to apply to West Point at the current pace? And mind you, this is a dream that I've had for 10 years. And to really come to that realization and say, hey, maybe I'm not going to be able to achieve my dream, that really hit me hard. So with the family health concern, in conjunction with the fact that I might not be able to apply, that was really devastating. But the PA environment, the teachers in the classroom, they are very flexible, they're very accommodating. They'll change their curriculum to adapt to your needs. And that aligns perfectly with what I was saying with leadership being all about adaptability. The teachers really embrace that credo. And if you have any needs, any concerns, they're willing to help you out as long as you're willing to open up and share. And that's what promotes the sense of family. The homework is a lot, but it's what's necessary to just pursue excellence if that's what you want. Um, there's lots of at-home studying. Um, one thing that I think PA strives itself on is something called the Thayer Method. Now the Thayer Method is like a West Point term that's used for students being responsible for their own learning. The teachers will present you materials to study at home independently and they'll use and dedicate class time to answer any questions. So this way you can maximize your learning experience with your teachers. At PA you learn many different things and one of them being leadership skills. And in my opinion leadership is all about adaptability. One thing I am a member and president of though is Model United Nations. So I have a public speaking background of over 10 years and I use that to create the Model UN team here at PA in my freshman year. And one of the things that we decided to do was to create long-term goals for ourselves. For example, we decided to compete in the most prestigious uh, MUN conference in the world which is held at the United Nations General Assembly Hall and we were able to bring an award that's known as the Award of Merit, which is just one out of 16 awards given to schools that demonstrated the highest and utmost levels of one, diplomacy, two, respect for other people, because of course we are a very diverse group. We're a group defined by many unique cultures from around the world. And last but not least, three, um, just adherence to the principles of the United Nations. So it was a really big win for us a really big win for the school and community as a whole. So this opportunity to be me, this ability to really shine through as a student and an individual allows you to streamline your passion and ultimately use the right resources to turn those dreams into reality. And for me, my dream was to compete in New York and we made that happen. Here at Pacific Academy, we have something called independent PE. So if the school doesn't necessarily have a team or isn't focused on your specific activity, like a swimming team for example, we don't have a swimming pool, 
or water polo. PA allows students and gives students the trust to conduct their own activities outside of school through this independent PE program. As long as you're supervised by a coach or a parent, somebody who can facilitate and record keep um, your daily activities, making sure that you know, you're staying healthy, you're staying fit, and you do meet that PE requirements, you can take part in the independent program. Um, I myself am a student who did this. I, in addition to um, martial arts, I, I do weightlifting and marathon running. Um, we don't have a track, and that's okay, because um, I can run around the city everywhere else. And PA allows me to do that. They give me enough trust and autonomy and independence to um, just do what I need to do on my own, and I think that's, that's really great. In addition to that, one of the things that's really great about the school is that you learn lessons beyond the classroom. You don't necessarily learn your basic STEM, your English, humanities, social sciences, but you learn how to be a good social citizen through volunteering, through giving back, whether that's participation in our National Honor Society chapter here at PA, or volunteering at separate nonprofit organizations. You really learn to become a person with good character, and that's really an experience and a development that you can't find or get at any other school. One of my mentors, Mr. Michael Lathrop, he's one of our college counselors who was with Pacific Academy when it first got started many years back. He once characterized me as being somebody who does everything in the extremes. Um, <laughs> whether that's like 100 pull-ups or 400 push-ups or staying up late to do homework or whatnot. Um, he's always kind of characterized me as just a, man, a young man who's just always pushed. And PA, I really think, helped streamline the direction that I was going in. I'm forever thankful to um, Ms. Kelly, our CEO and founder of the school, for just welcoming me with open arms and just helping kind of focus and hone in on exactly what I wanted to do with my high school career. And the PA family, just going back to what I was saying about doing things in extremes, I don't think there is um, a single thing that I wouldn't do for my friends here at PA because here at PA we're, we're really a family. So the friends that you make here at PA are really extensions of the people that you live with at home. For example, Elaine and a few other friends, they're extensions of my family as people I regard as brothers and sisters. And you really begin to create this close-knit community. I, I know I'm um, speaking like a broken record player, but this is just to emphasize how special and unique PA is because other private schools that are small in size, also by design, don't necessarily achieve the same quality and effect that Pacific Academy has in regards to um, establishing a synergy between different people, establishing real interpersonal connections between people that allow you to really relate as human beings, not just the strict, cold student life, but as friends, as people. And that, you can't find that anywhere else. So here at PA, you have a community of very driven people. You have students who have passions, who have dreams, and are willing to just push hard in that direction. Ask yourselves as you take away um, from this presentation, just where do I want to see myself 15 years down the line? And at the current pace that I'm going at, what resources and tools would I need to get to point A to point B? And your education is going to be all about you. It's not going to be about anybody else. It's going to be about you. And whatever decision that you decide to make in regards to that education, PA will do its best to make sure that dream turns into reality.